Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we are going to be talking about our earnings after the first couple days of the London EIP 1559 code change that took place. And we've got a whole bunch to take a look at. Now keep in mind, everything that I'm going to show you today is preliminary. It's the first couple days here out of the gate. So we are looking right now at August 7th. So we're just a couple days after implementation and I waited till today to get this video because there's a few key metrics on how I am paid out that I wanted to show you. And we'll take a look at that in this video. So to get started, I will leave a link to this in the show notes, but there is a new website. It's called watchtheburn.com. And here you can take a look at exactly what is going on from a moment to moment standpoint. You can see the total amount of ETH burned and it really what's going on real time. So for example, right here, if I were to just cruise along this timeline right here and I look at the transactions, it tells me how many transactions took place, what the reward was, which is right now, if you look up here, it's a standard of two Ethereum and how much Ethereum was burned and what we as miners are actually losing. So for example, right here, we're looking at 1.4855 F burned. That is what we as miners are missing out on here. And you can see right here from the key, the dark orange is what is being burned from a moment to moment basis. So what does this mean? Is it a good or bad thing for our earnings? Let's dive in and take a look. Now I'll leave a link to this article as well. This was posted on August 5th and it was talking about the averages, the amount of ETH that's being burned per minute on the network. I pulled this up because of the figures that are involved. It's interesting to take a look at. Ethereum is burning $10,000 every minute after EIP 1559 upgrade. So it's an interesting take if you look at how much Ethereum is actually being burned in this process after London, and then how much is being generated per block and the fact that it's questionable whether this really makes sense from a deflationary perspective. So just throwing that out there. And then taking a quick snapshot at gasnow.org. This is another link I will leave in the show notes below. It takes a snapshot of what's going on, the estimated cost of transactions currently. And this has settled down quite a bit. This is something we're going to want to keep an eye on over the next week and actually the next couple months moving forward here. And the day of, the day of implementation, these fees were really the estimated cost of transactions were through the roof. I mean, they were 10, sometimes, I think, uh, gosh, I want to say this was uh, Uniswap V3 was in the hundreds of dollars right here. So really, really crazy stuff, really, really high fees. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see the historical cost of gas prices listed here. So it does seem like things are coming down a little bit. And we will just, uh, like I said, we'll keep an eye on this and see how it does over time. Now, what I wanted to talk about is rubber meets the road. This is the reason I waited a couple of days to put this particular video out is I wanted to look at my farm and actually what I'm getting paid and what we have seen in recent history. I currently have everything mining Ethereum and I'm just over two gigahash. Now you may note right here, we've got our five AMD cards missing. Now for the stats I'm gonna show you here in a minute, they have been gone for almost two months now, those cards. So those don't come into play when we do an apples to apples comparison on the earnings. They are off doing the mineral oil <laughs> immersion uh, testing. We we're just trying something different every couple of days and we're really uh, <laughs> playing around with that project a bit. And we're trying to get that episode three out here very soon. So sorry for the delay on that. Just got back from our last vacation of the summer, but that's coming very soon. So this is our complete farm all mining Ethereum. Now we're going to jump over poolside and take a look at what the earnings have been. Okay, so I'm using Hive on pool and right here you can see our expected earnings per day is 0.04898 Ethereum. Now I can tell you just by looking at this right here, that's currently $151 if I sold daily per day, but we're talking about the amount of Ethereum, what has happened since EIP 1559 was put in place. This was typically 0.06 Ethereum 
per day. The minimum payout on Hive-On pool is 0.1. So every two days I was getting a payout because I would be at about 0.12. Well, right now that's not happening. And this is the reason I was going to wait till today to see right out of the gate how the earnings have changed, my actual earnings, what, what has changed. Now you can see my unpaid is 0.126. Let's take a look at what's happened here. Now if you come down this list, these are all of my payouts that have taken place over the past couple of weeks right here. And you can see every two days, as I said, I was paid out 0.12. So if I was making 0.06 Ethereum, after two days I was making 0.12 and that varies uh, from day to day. And it depends, you know, if I've got an outage or uh, something weirds going on or maybe gas fee spike or get, there's just a whole variety of things difficulty change but probably on average I'm making 0.12 every two days and then getting paid out because we're above that 0.1 every two days so right here you can see from the third to the fifth I was paid out first to the third I was paid out 27th to the 29th I was paid out 23rd to 25th I was paid out yada 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 you get it well well, today is the 7th, and notice, that's my second day, there is no payout here. There's not a payout. I did not meet that threshold of 0 0.1 Ethereum. And if we come back up here, you can see I still have unpaid. So it's, it's pretty close, but it is lower. I'm going on my third day here, and I'm at 0 0.12 and it's about 6 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm a good ways through the day right now. And this is about what I would get paid every two days. So you can see how right away my mining earnings are down. Now we'll talk about here in a second why you can't come up and just look at the USD earnings because as we're trying to monitor this, that's definitely not the best way to keep an eye on what's going on because of the price change of Ethereum. Now to illustrate this, we're going to take a look at some of the earnings I had from the last video I put out before EIP-1559 was implemented. It was over a week ago, it was how much did our 1660 Super make in one week. So we're going to look at those earnings which were right before the implementation, and we're going to take a look at the earnings right after. And it's worth noting right here that when that video was filmed, when I recorded that, we were at... $2,200 Ethereum. And as of today, look at this, we've had a big jump. We are over $3,000. So we've had a nice run up. So we can't really do USD comparisons because I'm not selling daily. And it's more important to look at the actual amount of ETH that we've earned to see what's really going on here. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm happy ETH's running up so that when I sell this crypto, uh, I can make a bit more, especially that that I've been mining for several months and been been holding bags of, no doubt. Now, right here, you can see this was this is in the video. After one week, we made 0 0.00646 Ethereum, and our estimated earnings based on 28.2 mega hash per day was 0 0.00087. So the 87 is the important part to remember here before EIP 1559. And our findings in that video were at that time, what to mine actually was really, really accurate on this 1660 Super. So let's jump over to what to mine now. Now remember, we're at 87 right here, three zeros, 87. I'm going to grab one 1660 super and we are going to calculate this and look at this right here. So Ethereum, it is 0 0.30 and then a 7. So we are down between 10 and 15 percent on our rewards for Ethereum and then you can decide to hold this as long as you want. The reason this number looks very comparable to that last video we put out is just because the price of Ethereum has taken off here. So rewards are definitely down. It's hard to watch that and it makes me think more about with prices being where they are here whether I should be selling weekly maybe monthly because typically I hold for big price spikes. I'm thinking not to get into strategy too much. That's not what this video is about. I'm thinking I'm going to hold out to that $4,000 price point again because everything seems to be running. But I don't know. I'll have to think on that. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know what you're doing in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you've got. But yeah, you can definitely see how not only through my actual payouts, 
that we've seen in high von pool over here what's estimated and then our actuals or what's going on but we can see that in the last video that we did along with the comparisons for what what to mine is showing for today the estimated rewards for 24 hours so yeah let me know what you guys are doing what do you think of this are you buying gpus are you now selling your gpus i would love to know your thought process put it in the comments below and thanks so much for watching raptors we'll see you in the next video take care Ladies and gentlemen, the countdown has just begun. Are you ready? Let's go. go, 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 go. Now we're back from the dead. Back, back.